Alright guys, King David K, King David K, David K, Multi Devon Tapatri is back with another E3 reaction. This time, Square Enix presents E3 2021. So, without further ado, let me change the camera real quick. And let's jump right into it. Yeah, I hope this is good. Like was the Microsoft conference, I have to say, that was not bad. And Let's see. Yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. Show me this. Matt Mercer here. Let's go. And I'm back as your host of Square Enix Presents. Nice. Today we have a special E3 edition of the show for you, with new game announcements, updates, nice. and exciting news from our studios across the globe. Yeah. So let's kick off with the world premiere of a brand new game from IDOS Montreal. We hope you enjoy the show. Whoa, new game from IDOS Montreal? This can be good, maybe. I hope so. Whoa. I am so proud of you. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? Peter? Griffin? <laughs> yeah, I know it's not. That's a part of you. Marvel? Okay. Gardeners of the Galaxy? What? No, Rocket. So I let Groot fill out the paperwork. So we got fine. Hmm. They appear to be 6,963. Short. I know. I'm not too much interested in the Marvel You're Universe. Man. I'm not a big of a fan of this, but yeah, this game feels well made. I don't know, but I will not say nothing. You know, I will not say no much too much. Even you know what happened to the other Marvel game, uh, Avengers. You know what happened to Avengers. You know, people, you know, didn't like that too much. And the, that was not so great, so I will not expose myself on this. Feels cool, and the the aesthetic is uh, pretty nice. But other than that, I will not say nothing, you know. But yeah, maybe this is better than Marvel's Avengers. Who knows? You are Star Lord, huh? No? I made no such commitments. In less than three cycles, all would be lost. The galaxy cannot be saved. Nice. We can do this together. The Guardian of the Galaxy, huh? You got this, huh? Not bad. I don't know. I will not expose. Nice, nice job, Square Enix. This starts good, you know. Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy, nice. No, no, of course I will. I'll call you. I'll call you. <laughs> okay. Hi, my name is Olivier Prou, senior producer here at IDOS Montreal. For the past few years, we've had the privilege to work on our version of Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy and reimagine it into a single-player, story-driven, third-person action-adventure game. It's our own fresh take on the okay. Guardians, and something that's really unique to our game is that you the get genre to is cool. Peter Quill. As Star-Lord, you're constantly in the middle of the action as you try to lead this band of misfits. But today, I'm really, really excited to have all of you join us on this journey. And you'll hear more about the game from our team behind this project. All right, let's do this. I've always loved Marvel's cosmic characters. Uh, growing up as a kid, I read them, enjoyed them, loved them. I uh, had the opportunity to write for Marvel on some of their cosmic titles. I went back with the help of Bill Roseman, the editor, and kind of cherry-picked characters from Marvel's past. The opportunity here was to build a team, but to make it all underdogs, so that the reader would think, oh my gosh, how is this team gonna survive? And that became the Guardians of the Galaxy comic, which we loved working on. I remember the first time that the Marvel crew came to Montreal, we were showing them the design of the characters, how they would look, and they stayed silent. I don't know if it's a minute, but in my head, it was a minute, I was like, Oh my god, like they hate it. We realized how much that Marvel and Idols Montreal share had in common and that we knew the Guardians were in perfect hands. Looking at the samples that Idols were kind enough to show me, I think he's fantastic and absolutely in the spirit of what these characters are. 
What makes the gameplay experience unique to me is no matter in what phase of the game you are, whether you're in exploration or you're fighting, the guardians are constantly around you and you never feel alone. While you're the leader, the guardians will also challenge you and make decisions on their own and you will have to adapt to it. You are literally part of the Guardians of the Galaxy. The decisions you'll make will have light-hearted to hunting repercussions, and the game will react to what you do and say. The more no killing teammates! That's who! It's literally in your contract! I made no such commitment. <laughs> you are playing as Star-Lord, and you're using your blasters, and you're using your jet boots. Star-Lord is really empowering. I don't know. I hope this game turns out good. Slide and over with his jet boots. Of course, he has but I don't know. blasters that have different powers as well. And on top know. of all of this, he can use the unique abilities of his guardians. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Gardeners of the galaxy? What? No. The Animations are pretty good. This way. The guardians yeah. in our world have been together for Less than a year, they create something on a small scale that looks insignificant. And as they progress through the story, they discover that they created something really big that threatens the galaxy. There are a lot of very interesting villains in the Marvel franchise. And when you're starting to work on a story like this, you get to get your pick of which ones will make the best for this story. That gives us the opportunity to bring in some that are well-known, but some that are also not all that well-known. And that's a cool thing. What Otto is getting so right about them is capturing what it's like to be a misfit family. They're also bringing an amazing imagination to it. You're gonna see planets and characters that are gonna blow your mind. Interpreting it in its own way, I think makes it feel incredibly fresh and exciting. It's not a matter of trying to replicate the comic or trying to replicate the film. It's trying to take the medium you're working in and make the best version of Guardians out of that. They made it fun. They made it rock and roll. They delivered everything you would want in a Guardians game. Marvel, Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't know how to feel about it, but... Maybe. Nice, that's gameplay. PlayStation prompts use you for demo purpose only. Okay. So, this is not PlayStation, or, well, thirty-seven who knows? units. We appear to be 6,963 units short. We intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill. I know, I know. We clearly... Quality is pretty good, you know. What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. Quarantine zone was always... Out on My well. figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. And you can't be robbing to make no sacrifice. I will sacrifice your head. And take us to the majestic mountains yeah, of Kakarantara. Sure. Guys. I think we should... You're our group for once. I... Am well, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. Groot, are you really offering to... No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. So, Groot, I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. It's cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not. I also <laughs> vote for the creepy little beast. Yeah, but what are we seeing right here? Peter? What is this? Dialogue? Well, Rock is so? definitely scarier on the inside. He's unstable and vicious and totally oblivious to the But I guess to me that I don't like Marvel Universe too much. I don't. Uh, it's not that I don't like it. I don't uh, follow it too much. Maybe. You know, to me it's like. I don't know. But maybe for a Marvel fan it's good, you know, that they're talking to each other. To me, that doesn't do nothing, you know. Show me actual gameplay. And they showed it already a little bit, you know. So, yeah. Show me here the uncut version, I guess. 
Whoa, the scale of environment is big. You know, what I'm seeing in games today, you know, a lot of games have a big scale on the, on the environment, and that's cool. That's something that I can tell you, maybe it's the start of next gen, you know. The big scale of environment, and that's something, yeah. You know, even uh, Elden Ring has a big environment, open world, and it's still not next gen, so yeah. That's nice. I wonder, you know, how they treat the open world in Elden Ring. Yeah, we'll see when it comes out. January 21, I can't wait. By the way, this game feels not bad at all. But I don't know if it's my type of game. Maybe not. Yeah, for a fan of the Marvel Universe, this can be great. That's for sure. Because the game feels uh, really well done. Even if I said I will not, you know, say too much myself. Because you know what happened with Marvel Avengers was not too good. But I don't know. The more I see of this, is the more I feel like, yeah, this game can be good. But but we'll see when it comes out. Whoa. That was... What is happening? Okay. Everyone okay? We should have gone to Maku 4. What is that? I would be wary, Rodin. Uh, you know what? I survived freaking Half-World. I think I'm scared of some little... Ah! It's not alone! Uh -oh. Get ready! Okay. They seem easy to kill. Yeah. Whoa. Cool enemies. Yeah. Blob. You know, nothing special by design. But they're cool. Maybe they represent something in the Marvel Universe. So, yeah. Weak explosion. Okay. Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement I saw when we were topside was Lady Hellbender's fortress. Dead end. Hmm. That's just great. It's a retractable bridge. They use them at the prison I was in. This is not bad. You know, the environment is cool. That's something that I like. I'm liking a lot the environment. No. Not too much the characters, because I don't like Marvel, or maybe I'm not interested in Marvel Universe. Let's say clearly. It's not that I don't like it. I'm not interested. But, you know, environment is cool, I have to say. That's something that I like. Environment for sure. I am not familiar with these words. Order the beast to do its job. Fuck it, come on, man. Ram it fast, face. Fix the bridge and we'll raise your cup by five. The fact that, that you have dialogue to choose, you know, and maybe okay. this changed the story a little bit. Or something that happens, you know, that's cool, by the way. That's a nice touch, you know. For the bridge, Rocket. If you even think of pulling that Wait, shot again. Hear that? Uh, guys. I got it. Whoa. He got it. Wow. These creatures are cool. That's absolutely. I like. You know what? I'm liking the creatures, the environment, but not the characters. Strange. To me, it's like the first time that this happened. You know, I like the environment, I like the creatures, but but I'm not feeling the characters. I don't know. Maybe if it was, you uh, know, uh, a beat 'em up, you know, a fighting game, like I don't know. Maybe who knows that we'll, there will be something announced by NetherRealm Studios. This uh, E3 can be, but yeah. It's like, uh, I don't know, in this game, I'm, I don't like the characters too much. It's me, but yeah. Oh, 
Oh, copyright music? Hell yeah, let's copyright my channel. Why not? Let's go. Okay, copyright. Thank you for that copyright music at the end. So. Oh, right. The cage. The point of even getting the flark and was looking for the mean business. Whoa, that's cool. Time to put on your monster face. I only got one face, Quill. Are you sure about this, Peter? <laughs> Look at him. You better have one hell of a sales pitch. Maybe Gamora's right. We should try selling Groot instead. <laughs> what? Really? This is an <laughs> affront to democracy. I just think that we might need Rocket on the outside for this one. <sighs> yeah, we noticed. Oh, the things of selling people? Call, then you better I don't know. not mess this up. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style if I got it. What are you doing? Ah! Whoa. Nice. Yeah, okay. Whoa. by the way they show a lot of gameplay here and that's nice that's a well way I know I have to say these conferences DZ3 were all great you know a lot of publishers show the gameplay the real gameplay the true footage you could rob me that was nice you know everyone is doing well you know even a Ubisoft like first the cinematic then the gameplay you know that's cool Okay. Okay. Nice design. Sun Lord outfit. I like it. And the City Lord. Oh, all right too. But Sun Lord is cool. going to revisit two iconic brands that are being remastered for modern platforms. First Ooh. up, relive the classic games in the Final Fantasy series, and then get one more peek at Legend nice. of Mana ahead of its June 24th. Hey, launch. I hope they announce Final Fantasy VII remake, but you know, to PC. Whoa. The ultimate pixel 2D remaster. Please. Whoa. Four. Five. Six. Steam and mobile. Okay. Mobile. But Steam. Hell yeah. Nice. Final Fantasy 1 to 6. I'm in. I guess I'm gonna play them. Absolutely, I'm gonna play them. All on my channel. I'm gonna play everyone, every of the them games. I hope they remastered cool, like you know, 4K visuals, cool pixel arts. I don't know, cause you know, they don't show. They didn't show nothing. They show the old 
version. I wonder the new widescreen 4K maybe who knows. Continue their fight to defend the world in Marvel's Avengers. Oh yeah, the this game. Crystal Dynamics is excited to share oh, no. the latest updates with you, including new mission types and a growing roster of heroes. Yeah. Yeah, this is well, this was Crystal Dynamics, not you, you Ideas Montreal. Avengers, yeah. Secure that super weapon at all costs. Cosmic energy is building up. I guess this game, is, this game is getting better over the time, but yeah, still, people for some reason didn't like it too much. But yeah, things can change, you know. The game is growing, so who knows? Quality-wise, is good. I always say that, but other than that, I don't know. Wasteland Patrol, huh? New Patrol mode, huh? They're trying hard with this game. Maybe we'll succeed, who knows? War for Wakanda, huh? Black Panther, huh? I react to... You know, when they announced Black Panther. You know, I remember, I react to that trailer. There was some conference again, to maybe. With your roots, but... As a man who has seen three Black Panthers fall, I must warn you of a few things. Many eyes follow the path you are about to walk down. At least the you know song is cool, a little bit. <laughs> Copyright, obviously. Yeah. What gives? Black Panther is cool, by the way, huh? Cool character. Vibranium doesn't belong to you. You are right. Vibranium does not belong to me. It belongs to Wakanda. Hmm. Uh oh. That's even better, nice. Now it's time to give mobile players a quick look at some of the games that will be available in the coming months. Yeah, yeah. Good evening, 426. Our intelligence reports a new threat to global oh, stability. Oh yeah, a sniper, whatever the hell it's is called. Unlike anything we have seen before. I'm not a mobile game player. Disappearance, you were selected uh, hell no. because of your remarkable skills. Oh, who knows, maybe? Execution must be perfect. They create some good mobile games. Who knows? And they will never know what hit them. Yeah, yeah. I will not join the shadow, sorry. A what is this? sad and beautiful tale that echoes throughout eternity. The first mobile entry By the way, if I look at these graphics and I think it's a mobile, it's like... Yeah. Near reincarnation. Wow. It's like, yeah. Mobile is doing good, you know. Mobile is getting better and better, you know. Final Fantasy, yeah? War of the Visions. Wow. What is that? I don't know if I like this. The way it's presented. But who knows? Oh. Huh.
Legacy characters from past Final Fantasy. Yeah. Brave Exvius. A lot of Final Fantasy title, but they can do that, you know. Square Enix, it's Final Fantasy, so yeah. Whoa. Intergrade and Final Fantasy VII on PC, please. The first soldier, huh? On MOBA. I don't know what, how this game would be, but yeah, it's like they're taking Today, a lot of effort. the team at Platinum Games is giving you an exclusive look at the epic world of Babylon's Fall. Featuring fluid combat, oh, powerful okay. weapons, and a unique art style. Okay, Babylon's Fall, huh? Platinum Games. This can be good, you know. Let's see. Show me. Built over a thousand years. It was meant to be wow. a tower Ooh, of style. dreams. Exactly. But for a thousand more, it was seen as a tower of ruin. Super cool art style. I like it. I like it a lot. Feels like it's the wrong, you know. And ice, and the it's all on point. Of winds. Cool to watch. Eventually the tower nice. became a symbol of unrelenting ambition. That's nice. That tower's name is Babylon. Yeah. Show me more, by the way, please. What is that? Does the savior of Neo Babylon stand among us? Let's find out without further ado. Hmm. Characters I like less, again. But the world seems cool, you know, the world. Uh, but yeah, if we'll I'm see. Die, then I'll die for hope. For what little hope there may be. Okay, Square Enix. Cool games, by the way. They're not bad. Maybe they're not games for my taste, you know, but they're not bad, actually. They're good games, they show me. So, well made, I guess, at We're least. All prisoners of our subjective reality. It's alright. Believe only what you see, and you like to end up seeing only what you believe. Ascend to the heaven above the tower of okay. fall, like this one now before you. Okay, now its tale I will say both hope nice. and despair. PS4 in Steam. Oh, okay, PS5 now too. That was something. I was saying what? Only PS4 in Steam. Okay, that's different. Platinum Games is really an action game. It's a world pushing developer. I think it's a new automata. 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 Yeah, by the way, this game will have a cool gameplay. Yeah, that I can tell you. Yeah, that's for sure. まあ、ポイントは続けることができると。プレイヤーはまあストーリーを追いながらダンジョンをクリアして上層を目指していくと入手するそうや素材を集めて自身を強化してカスタマイズしていくとゲームを伝えるとしてはまあオーソドックスな
ているかのような感じは意識しました。You know, but the aesthetic of the world is like it's a little bit cartoonish, you know. Okay. Babylon's fall. Nice, nice, nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now recruiting for closed beta, okay, PS5, PS4, Now Steam. Now let's check out the next major entry in the popular Life is Strange series, True Colors. The team at oh, Deck 9 is ready no. to give you a deeper look at Alex Chen's well, psychic power of empathy. I don't like Life is Strange, Strange, but okay, here's a look at people the Life will like it. There's Remastered some people that would like it for sure. I don't. It feels so weird to be back. Well, some people do, so all right. The multi-hour winning series, oh. What do you remember about us as kids? I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. We are awesome! We're mastering, huh? Well, you can feel the difference. Not in every scene, but yeah. Come Some on, scene you can feel the difference. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> That's cool. That's Rachel Amber. People liked After it, so why not? You, moved. you know? I felt abandoned. Oh, good. You're here. Rachel saved my life. She was my angel. Something happened to her. We have to find her, Max. Must play, Holy huh? By final, huh? Max, what's going on? I don't feel this need to play it. But yeah. Maybe a must play for someone, not to me. Pex an emotional what punch, huh? What the hell is this? Whatever's going on between us is special. Step back before you regret it. Ben, Max! Then I realized I had a choice and the power to change everything. Arcadia Bay is on the edge of disaster. Time to change time. Whatever happens, I'll always have your back. Always. Life is Strange, Remastered Collection. Available September 30, priority, of a priority available to now. Now, tonight, whatever. Hi, I'm Maya, also known as MXM Tune. I'm a musician and the singing voice of Alex Chen in the upcoming Life is Strange True Colors. I hope you enjoyed that first look at official gameplay from the remastered Oh, I remember collection. about this. I reacted to this fan, already. I know I did. You can People see get angry in the comments, say that I'm rude and things like that. You know why? Because I said, this collection and I don't mind who is the voice behind. If it sounds good in game, you know, it's well made. I don't mind if it's air of other people, the next you know, major game in the things series, that I care like about, if the, the game at the end a is good, no matter who it is behind, and I don't know why people are step, getting crazy angry to me, like, why you say this, you rude pre person, Today, who the hell you are to tell this, I don't know, for, to me, I didn't say nothing so rude, you know? Yeah, maybe I use different terms, like, uh, you know, heavier terms Alex's when I say that, power of to try to make it more to fun, you know, more reactive. True colors. Yeah, I didn't mean to be rude. And every decision she That's makes. what I think. Simple as that. And I don't think friend. it's rude, but alright. People say that. Shut out the strong yeah. feelings of others. Let the people fear, say that. Sadness and Who anger gives? of those around her, leading her to believe her power is a curse. Yeah. In the wake of Gabe's death, Alex realizes the only way she can find the truth is to embrace her power. I can't believe this is happening. And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. Hmm. From the very start, you can use Alex's power to focus on brightly colored auras to gain an insight into people's emotions. Gabe was too young. Just... These valuable insights deepen Alex's relationships with the folk of Haven Springs, as well as sparking new dialogue options and events, as here from a scene very early on in the game. You're gonna lose her. You're gonna lose her and it's all your fault. Alex has uncovered a secret that Mac wants to keep hidden from his long-term girlfriend. And now he is terrified that Alex will reveal it 
before he can talk to Riley. Hmm. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. Hmm. Max telling you a whole lot of I bullshit. Listen. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. But are we still together? Are you serious? I need to get back to work. Sure, Alex, we'll, uh, we'll get out of your way. When hmm. Alex encounters a particularly strong aura, she can reach out to actively connect with that person's emotions. This generates a nova, a supernatural flare that transforms the world around Alex into a reflection of that person's psyche. In this altered, emotionally charged state, Alex can oh, experience fragments, this is a nice thoughts, feature. and memories to get to the root of their issue. But not every emotional crisis can be easily dealt with. Some carry a dangerous, even life-threatening amount of power. He's <laughs> dead! I wish I were too. No decision is easy, and the consequences will be felt across the game. This anger could That's kill nice. her. What if I could just take it away? I can tell you, they're doing great things Using with this game. Alex's Even if I don't like it, way, they're doing great the things with this game. Behind That's her for brother's sure. death. What would that do to her? What would it do to me? And even if I can, should I? How far will you go in pursuit of that truth? The choice is yours. Okay. Alex's powers look so awesome. I have no idea how I'll make some of these choices, but I can't wait to play it with you all when it comes out on September 10th. Don't forget, you can pre-order Life is Strange True Colors now. And if you choose the Ultimate Edition, you'll also receive the Life is Strange Remastered Collection. And that's it for today. Make sure to follow the Life is Strange nice. social like, channels for more. Know. Maybe someone didn't play Life is Strange never, like me for example. I pre-ordered the Ultimate Edition and I can play one, Life is Strange, two, you know, all the Life is Strange till this one. Yeah. But yeah, I'm not interested, so okay, but yeah, for people that are, that's a nice touch, nice addition, you know, the game. And now, we are excited to unveil a brand new title from Square Enix Japan. Oh, I hope this is good. With the memory of this, their struggle buried deep in their hearts. Let's go. Story and scenario. Whoa. I'm here to kill chaos. Nomura. That's my mission. Team Ninja. Hmm. Looks Whoa. like chaos has been waiting for us. Koi Tecmo. What is this? Guess we'll just show ourselves in. Wow, this is so Final Fantasy, even thing. if it's not. I want to kill Chaos. Need to this is so Final Fantasy, I don't know why. Or a dream. It's like a hunger. Thirst. This can be great. This feels great already. Yeah. This feels cool. Sure this feels a mixture here. between Final yeah. Fantasy VII Remake and uh, Devil May Cry. You know, with this Crystal. Chaos. He's here. We just have to hunt him down. Feel the pain. Okay. The darkness is so thick. Devil May Cry did it before. This is it. But no alright. Maybe it's cool. There was a knight who left on the same journey as you. But never returned. His name was Garland. If you could, I would be grateful if you looked for him. Chaos. Chaos, huh? I'll crush you! No when you're beaten! Hmm. And who are you? We're here to kill Chaos. The prophecy's very own warriors of light. Really? He always wore such splendid armor with a helmet that was terrifying Whoa. to behold. It's Garland! No. I become chaos. Hmm? Okay. <coughs> Stranger of Paradise. Final Fantasy Origin. 
Whoa. So that's the start of Final This that's before Final Fantasy, you telling me? I'll leave you with a look at some of the amazing Square Enix titles you can play now. I well, know that that was something about Final Fantasy. There was two Final Fantasy. Please, tell me that this is coming on PC, please. I'm a PC player, I'm still waiting. I, I made no spoilers to myself, almost. Even if I know that these are spoilers right now, but what can I do? The game is still not coming on PC. I want to play that so bad, you know. But I guess... Still no announcement. There's still... Uh, I'm, if I can say so, I don't remember. There's still... Something about, you know... Uh, Square Enix and the Sony, you know, they did something... To prevent the game to go on another platform, I guess. But it's timed. I guess it, it, it has expired or it still needs to expire, I don't know. Things that I know, it's it, that I still not see Final Fantasy VII Remake on PC. Thank you for and that's joining something us today. that, come Keep on! Keep an eye out for news about our next Square Enix Presents. I'm Matt Mercer, see you next time. They show nothing about Forspoken, obviously. That's too new to show. And yeah. On the next video. Bye.